after partnership with ABC 7 News. And we're getting word, I, I got word, that this might have been a newspaper delivery van. Uh, this white vehicle that you see is being pursued by a uh, police agency. We're not sure which one, but we believe we are in South San Francisco right now. This vehicle just moments ago exiting the freeway and uh, now what appears to be going the wrong way uh, down a street here. Yes, it's on the wrong side, as you can see, of the yellow line. And again, details are very sketchy because we picked up this pursuit in progress, and uh, we are trying to determine the exact location and who the pursuing agency is that is after this vehicle. But on city streets, you can see extremely hazardous driving there on the wrong side of the roadway, and at speeds that are way too fast there for the adjacent traffic. Uh, this could be in the vicinity of Airport Boulevard. Again, the best information we have is that it is in currently South San Francisco as, uh, as this vehicle continues to be pursued. Now, we don't know if there have been, if the CHP helicopter has joined this pursuit or not. Uh, so again, we are, uh, we are tracking this ride, uh, trying to figure out exactly. There you see uh, BART track, so that would put this uh, perhaps uh, closer to El Camino Real, uh, if that's possible. But again, that's just uh, speculation if we're in the South City area. And there he is, you see, making a U-turn uh, underneath the train tracks. Um, we've lost sight of whatever pursuit vehicles were behind this vehicle, so we don't know if they were able to make that turn behind this van. But again, we did learn that it, this might have been a newspaper delivery vehicle. And there you can see it's driving uh, actually off the roadway near the railroad tracks. And we're unclear as to whether or not uh, the driver of this vehicle has been successful in evading the uh, agency that was following it. Uh, so. Um Again, we're, we don't see that pursuit vehicle uh, nearby. Uh, crossing underneath some rail tracks again, and uh, uh, to the best of our knowledge, this vehicle in South San Francisco, as we uh, continue to watch it. Oh, there he hit a dead end, apparently. And uh, trying to go what appears to be, yes, a fence. And there's no markings on the vehicle, as you can see. Ah. There is another pursuit vehicle. That looks like California Highway Patrol. We don't know if they're on the same level or not. There you see it just struck a car as it's trying to back up. There you see it says San Francisco Chronicle on the door. I didn't know if you can make that out, but apparently our, um, our sources that told us that this was some sort of newspaper delivery vehicle were correct because we did see San Francisco Chronicle there painted on the side door. Now there are two, as you saw, CHP vehicles nearby, but they are actually on a different level, so they, are, they were below grade here of this vehicle, and that's why they weren't able to engage it there, but uh, we're clearly close to it. So uh, uncertain about the direction. Judging by the shadows, I would say it looks like this vehicle is now heading perhaps uh, south or southwest uh, as we see the shadows on the side of the roadway. Um, again, we understand that this vehicle is in the vicinity of South San Francisco as we continue to follow this pursuit. Uh, there you see another BART train. So again, this uh, looks as though it would put it a little bit uh, west of uh, west of downtown South San Francisco and closer perhaps to El Camino Real. Boy, there are a lot of streets here, just city streets, and uh, without having the helicopter shot pull back. We don't know if the vehicle is still uh, being pursued. Um, again, no indication of what uh, what the original purpose of this pursuit was. Mark, it's, uh, as you can see, still driving here on what appear to be city streets, but it's uh, uncertain whether or not the pursuit vehicles still have it. It uh, appears they may be getting out of the vehicle right now. At least one person is up. The driver's still in there. Uh, so you don't know who that person is, if that was maybe perhaps the driver of the vehicle who was possibly carjacked. I know police taking a very defensive stance and not really uh, being very aggressive uh, for public safety's sake as far as pursuing this. But we just saw someone uh, dropped off that vehicle out of the passenger side, someone holding some sort of bag uh, at the corner. And then the truck now, uh, I guess, it keeps pulling into different yards and different lots and then trying to hide and then turning around for a minute. 
and making its way back out. We saw some CHP and some uh, police officers a short time ago, looks and now like the vehicle stopped. Looks like he's hiding mm -hmm. there, Mark. Trying to. Yes. Uh, there, was a, there was an officer, a motorcycle officer there at the intersection that he just went by and uh, appears for the third or fourth time now. He's now gone somewhere, turned around. But uh, just moments ago, we saw him drop someone off uh, on that corner, get out of the passenger seat holding a bag. And I was just looking at some of the tweets uh, about this chase here, and it looks like that this started from the San Francisco Bayview District, and then this uh, stolen uh, San Francisco Chronicle truck then went down the peninsula across the San Mateo Bridge and into Hayward. And it looks like now the CHP is following this uh, truck and also perhaps the San Francisco Police Department as well, and you can see he's really aggressive. I mean, going down the wrong way at times. He's making a turning around this uh, garbage truck, and um, we've seen him bust through a fence. Mm -hmm. We've seen him sideswipe a Toyota Prius that was parked on the side of the road. Uh, he's come in danger of hitting several other vehicles, and now you've seen this residential neighborhood going at a pretty high rate of speed as officers are in pursuit and seem to be uh, surrounding him in all directions, mm -hmm. but not able to make a stop just yet. Uh, again, Annie, I, if I heard you correctly, you said that this uh, was a sus suspected stolen vehicle. Is that right? Possibly, yeah. yeah. Stolen uh, uh, SF Chronicle van is what it seems like. And you mentioned that you saw some of the word. We were on able the to read that on the uh, right hand door. And uh, I also got word from our producer that perhaps that the person that uh, was seen jumping out of the vehicle a few moments ago may have just stolen a bicycle in order to continue uh, their evasion from the pursuing authorities. Uh, um, the, we did see at least two CHP vehicles as part of this pursuit, but again, because of the tight angle of the shot, ah, yes, there is another CHP car, as you can see it. Uh, now we're learning that this is, in fact, not South San Francisco, but that it is in the area of Hayward, San Leandro, uh, that we are currently viewing this pursuit. And again, even though you don't see it in this shot, there is at least one CHP vehicle uh, close behind this, uh, this suspect van. Yeah, with word that it uh, already has gone over the San Mateo Bridge. This has been going on for quite some time with multiple agencies involved, all trying to bring this chase to an end. Uh, but the officers uh, taking precautionary measures. We haven't uh, seen them try to use their vehicles yet to block uh, this, uh, what appears to be a stolen uh, m uh, delivery truck, a newspaper delivery truck, and now uh, moving at a higher rate of speed here. As you see, it trying to avoid vehicles. Some couple close calls here as it crosses over the yellow line, and uh, hopefully everyone remains safe here. That's why police are taking more precautionary steps. But this driver is going very fast here on city streets. And struck at least one vehicle when it was trying to back up its an escape, in its escape. Mark, we did, uh, this does make sense now that it traveled across the San Mateo Bridge because in our last look, uh, in our last traffic report of the San Mateo Bridge, I noticed that the traffic, there was no traffic getting by in the uh, eastbound direction. So that would be from the peninsula heading back toward Hayward. They must have stopped all the traffic there. There must have been a traffic break in place. Although, as is often the case when these pursuits are active, there isn't anything on the public log. The CHP does not provide public information about it. So there you see, yes, is that another yeah, police car not stop? making much of an attempt to ram it or yeah. even try and stop it at this point. Uh, they just seem to be letting him go by as he just slowly went by those two uh, police cars that were sitting there up now yeah, he's there at the dead end street. And officers that you see uh, right behind. Uh, there he is getting out of the vehicle. We've already seen one person get out of the vehicle moments ago, and now a chase on foot with CHP as this man uh, appears of nowhere to go. And now uh, looking at possibly jumping over the fence and officers uh, in pursuit, but he just abandoned uh, what appeared to be a stolen newspaper truck as we're watching this uh, live signal here from our helicopter partnership with uh, ABC7 News. That suspect uh, in the backyard and a CHP in.